Good morning, Knights. Today is Thursday, November 2nd, and it's a Knight Silver Day. Just 53 days until Christmas. Today's lunch is breaded chicken sandwich, roasted butternut squash, and your choice of fruit. November is American Indian Heritage Month. The first American Indian Day was celebrated in May 1916 in New York. In New York, Red Fox James, a member of the Blackfeet Nation, rode horseback from state to state to get endorsements from 24 state governments to have a day to honor American Indians. In 1990, President George H.W. Bush signed a joint congressional resolution designating November 1990 as National American Indian Heritage Month. Similar proclamations have been issued every year since 1994, and we now refer to this, ce this celebration as the American Indian and Alaska Native Heritage Month. Now, on to Macy with today's weather. Even though Coach T's not here, the weather today is a low of 29 and a high of 51. Have a good day. Students, last time we asked, would you rather have a personal maid or a personal chef? And 54% of you said that you would rather have a personal chef. Now, please scan for today's poll. Junior high students, the poll has been emailed to you. Students, do you have an idea for the poll? Email it to the point at tpcs.org, and yours might just be featured here. Students and staff, picture retake day is on Tuesday, November 7th, during first period. If you did not get your picture taken that day, or you would like your picture take retaken, please let Mrs. Armstrong know. Senora Malat has been selected to receive the 2023 IFLTA Mary Carr Distinguished World Language Service and Leadership Award. The award is based on the fact that she has, she has strong service to the world language field that serves as a reference to the other new and future leaders in Indiana. Senora Malat is the founder of Learn Another Language, Inc. Members of the awards committee also highlighted her service and leadership with the program Espanol para los niños in the Zionsville Public Library. Ms. Malat has been invited to attend the global and multilingual celebration of success gala tomorrow evening. Felicidades, Ms. Malat. Here's Macy with the Taylor Swift raffle tickets. All right, TPCS, can I ask you a question? If you have a ticket for the Taylor Swift raffle, will you please take it out now? Because I know all too well that you want to win. Here are the winning numbers. 236009, 2360013, 2360132360014, 2360015. Now, don't blame me if you didn't win. If you were one of the lucky ones, please claim your prize tomorrow in the coffee shop. Thanks, Macy. Here's Sophie with the plays information. Hi guys, I'm Sophie Armstrong and I'm Edward in this weekend's play, The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulin. This play is about a toy rabbit who learns how to love, deals with the pain of losing that love, and finds the courage to love again. I invite you to come to this weekend's play performances at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Hope you're there. Thank you, Sophie. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again, with life and liberty to all who believe. Here's Macy with today's Devo and Prayer. When you discard the enemy's lies and focus on the blessings and benefits of forgiveness, you will see how deceitful the devil was to try and keep you bound to unforgiveness. As hard as it may feel, decide to embrace the future God has for you. It is one of joy and peace and a future where the pain of that memory stops affecting you. Choose to let go of that hurt. You'll realize how much more energy, time, and mental capacity you have to do new things in life. Often people will think that they have control over the situation, but when it's left unresolved and time passes, they don't realize they are actually being controlled. When you forgive, God can bring healing and his love to those areas of your heart. The pain that the offender caused can finally stop hurting you when you choose to shake off the shackles and move forward. 
God's life for you is waiting on the other side of forgiveness. When we look at scripture, we see that Jesus commands us to forgive, not just for the sake of our sanity, but our forgiveness. The Bible clarifies that we are to forgive our debtors. Whoa, what is that word? Okay, I just have to read. The Bible clarifies that we are to forgive our debtors just as he has forgiven us. I urge you to heed God's voice today and decide to forgive so you may not have any fault in your heart. Let's pray. Father, I have read your word and I have heard your command to forgive. Um, we need to restart yeah. that because you're paying attention. <laughs> okay. Let's pray. Father, I have read your word and I have heard your command to forgive. I need your strength to do so. I can't do this on my own. I pray that you would send your spirit to help me as I take this step to forgive. Amen. Thank you, Macy. Now, here's today's feature with Addison. Today, I'm here with Ms. Alex, and we're asking what is the best excuses that you've been working so, Ms. Ellis, what's the best excuse that you've ever seen? Um, the best might be, like, they had something to do. They needed to go somewhere. They had family things. The worst is they just didn't want to do it. I'm here with Demi. Demi, what is the best and worst excuse that you've been given? Um, that I've been given? Um, the best one is that I just, like, forgot my homework at home. Even if I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And probably the worst one is that like I ran out of words or something and I couldn't do it because of that. I don't know. I'm here today with Chastity. Chastity, what is the best excuse that you can As your business, I used to like help off on arts. Like I was going to do math homework with Lewis. We weren't even in the same class. Today I'm here with Asher. All right, Asher, what is the best excuse that you've given? Uh, I gave an excuse to Mr. Walker saying it's because I'm Mexican. It didn't turn out well. <laughs> I'm sure. Today, I'm here with... Mr. Coates. All right, Mr. Coates, what is the best excuse that you've received? I used to teach PC repair at Pike High School, and one of the assignments was to build a computer from scratch. And so I allowed them, because they didn't have enough time at school to do it, to take the equipment home and to put it together. And one of the students, when they brought it back, it wasn't working. And they told me when the cover was off, their dog peed on the motherboard. Thanks, Addison. That's all we have for today, Knights. Thank you Thanks for, joining for joining us. us. And, and that's, that's the point. point.